For me, formative assessment really helps me make sure that I am differentiating instructions for my students. I use a variety of formative assessment strategies each day through think notes and exit cards and randomized questioning. And this tells me if they've gotten it and we can move on or if I need to replan instruction. It also really helps in the pre-AP environment because even there you have some kids that um, can grasp, grasp as abstract concepts immediately, but others need a little bit more time. So before a big test, I always choose to do a formative assessment activity, something to get them on their feet, which is why I use the four corner approach for um, the lesson that was videoed. And this I normally do if I see, you know, some students are at one and half the student, the other half are at the other, then we discuss it. And then they have to tell me why, why they go to this. So they have to use text evidence and I really try to get them to prove it through Socratic questioning. For the moment where the class was split, it, um, I really was not anticipating that this question would cause such a big debate. And the students had chosen um, two of the answers, and the, each of them staunchly defended their choice. Even through Socratic questioning and probing questions for me, I could they just would not veer in their decision. They strongly believed it. So I basically just stopped the instruction. And because I really, they really needed to understand Gwen's motivation at this point. So I had them go back to their groups and they created a, um, a T-chart. And on one half they had to put the reasons they believed and on the other half they had to put disagreements. And they had to go back to the book. I didn't allow them to put their opinions, they had to go back to the book. And after they started doing that and really going back to the book, they were like, oh yeah, that does make more sense. So it turned out great because it gave them strategies for debating. It also helped them understand the importance of proving opinions. So it turned out to be a great day. Um, when I did the lesson um, in seventh period, it was completely different. They all went to the right answer immediately and we didn't have to veer off. But it was still a good lesson. So I really try to listen to the students. And if I see that we need to stop and continue and do something else, then that's what we do. because. If they don't get it and they need extra time, then it's really no point in trying to move forward. What need motivates for both sex? Is it self-actualization, B, physiological, C, social, or D, safety? Thank you. 